Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. Today was my running errands day, grocery shopping, and all that good stuff. And I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I get. I've shown you guys this video before, but I started to add in some other vegetables and stuff that I was not eating. And the reason why I wasn't eating them is because Dr. Sabi says that they are hybrid and they cause acidic in your body, so I kind of stayed away from them. But I am now trying to start juicing my vegetables, and here's why. A lot of people juice and they don't tell you about your glucose, glucose, glucose level rising because of all of the sugar. And that has a lot to do with you taking out the fiber in your fruit. So we need the fiber to use the restroom. You guys know that. But I'm going to start trying to make like V8 drinks more so than fruit drinks. I'm not going to completely cut out the juice. I just haven't done it in like maybe like a couple of weeks maybe. I'll probably take 30 days off just so I can get acclimated to the vegetables. So I'm just going to show you guys some of the goodies that I got. And I'm a little close to the camera because I'm in the kitchen. But um, what I actually got today, well, I usually get these, but I bought a lot of red peppers and tomatoes. Now, these are the Roma tomatoes. So I'm going to be using this to make my vegetable drink. Um, I have some more tomatoes here. And I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. So if you haven't, if you don't know, I take my eating, I'm not going to say super serious, but I do. You know, uh, the older I get, I'm just like, I stopped eating a lot of stuff many years ago. And when I cheat, and when I say cheat, I mean like go out to eat and try to like make something work with what they have on the menu. I usually end up feeling really gassy okay <laughs> and that's because i didn't cook the food these are some just some cherry tomatoes um i don't know if you guys can see it cherry tomatoes and then i got the roman tomatoes this is mushroom okay so as far as the other greens that i'm gonna be juicing i have a ton of Moringa. If you do not know what Moringa is, please look it up. It's very, very good for you. So many good uh, things that can go with Moringa. So I'm probably going to just start putting that into my smoothie as opposed to juicing it. I heard the rule of thumb is you should juice, blend your, your veggies and or juice your veggies and eat your fruits which makes sense. So this, now look, beets was never my thing, like at all. However, I bought some. I'm gonna try it out. I bought some small ones. I don't know if you can eat the leaves on here, but I'm gonna check that out as well. If I can, that's going in my juice as well. Let's put some of this stuff. I have so much stuff on my counter. So we got that. <clears throat> we also got, which is a no-no for me, but I figured that I would get these as opposed to those other ones. I got some carrots, some organic carrots. It's like they pulled, <laughs> this is like the Bugs Bunny, you know, right? I hope this is not gonna like be blurry on me because I have so much, let me try this. One second, guys. So I got some of these. These are organic. So, got my beets. Got, I have so much stuff. I hope this does not lag on me. Um. So that's that. I also, oh, I need to put that away. Here's my watercress. Now they used to sell the watercress that used to have this, this, the root on it. 
but they haven't had it in a long time so I'll just get like this one and it's kind of just like the roots and stuff are cut off watercress is really also really good for you I got some dandelion which they moved the dandelion to a different area so here's my dandelion okay so all of this will be going in my shoe so we got my infamous kale of course I get four bunches of kale if you don't know that the good way to what is that what is that that look like a bug y'all oh no that's the green <laughs> oh a good way to if you don't know a good way to store your kale or to get like the bitterness out is to clean it off I usually put like some olive oil on it and then a little bit of like lime and I just pack it up in like a Pyrex dish and I just cover it, which I may actually start poking holes in it, um, but I usually eat it pretty quick. So I got some avocado. Am I missing the avocado, y'all? Oh, I get like four. So I got my avocado and I have to clean all of this stuff. So how I clean my stuff is I usually put it in like a big bowl with some spring water with uh, vinegar and I kind of go from there. So I was not a person who used to eat oranges, but these are the Valencia oranges with seeds. We used to have these in New York. Now, Dr. Sabi said we should eat the sour orange those are nasty, I'm sorry. You could probably drip it over some food or something, but to actually eat it, it's a no. So this was the closest thing for me. Here's what happened. My iron was a little low, so I got some iron pills, which I'm trying to wean myself off of by eating like dates and moringa and stuff like that. So this is only temporary. But what I noticed was that when I would, they say you're supposed to have some vitamin C with your iron so it could absorb the iron quickly. What I've been doing was taking the iron pill and immediately after taking a orange and just sucking out the juice and let me tell y'all something i don't know what type of boost that gives me but i feel like almost like i had a shot of some sort of energy booster if that makes sense and if you pay attention to your body you will notice something like that happening especially if you have to run upstairs and stuff like i work from home but i'm up and down the stairs and that combination is a plus so i have about 10 of those for the week um this is my cheat now I go to three different mar markets. My first market is the DeKalb Farmers Market in Atlanta. And then the other one is like another one on another side of town to grab my burrow bananas. And then I go to Publix, y'all. Just to give me some Frank's, some Frank's hot sauce. This hot sauce is so good. I can't give it up, y'all. I can't give it up. That's that. And then I got some red onions some more peppers some orange bell peppers and then I got a couple of green ones so I am gonna be utilizing all of this I'm gonna make me a good juice I don't know how it's gonna taste but if I can find one that I like with maybe bell peppers um, probably some dandelion probably some carrots or maybe maybe ginger in there or something but just so I can get those veggies in I'm gonna try it out one thing about me if if it, if it makes me feel good I'm gonna do it and I think the older I get if it's nasty I don't even care I'll figure out a way to intake that mug like papaya is gross so when I make a smoothie and I want some vitamin C I'll just freeze my papaya in some little Ziploc bags and then I it still stinks like feet but when I put it in my smoothie I'm fine um, 
All right, so I got some apples, Granny Smith apples. Very, very good for you guys. And then this is just like, I said I wasn't gonna eat bread this week, but I don't know. This is my, my spelt bread. If you don't know what spelt is, look it up. Um, spelt is an ancient grain. It digests different from regular bread that you buy. Um, the farmer's market does have fresh bread, so I really, really love that about them. They have a ton of bread. Okay. So, I got all of that. Here's my papaya. Speak of papaya. <laughs> And I get two, two big papayas, Ugh. so I can cut them up and freeze them. What else? I also get some mushrooms. Actually, right here, I just only bought one of these this week because I have some, which is portobello. Got portobello. I don't know. I haven't been eating those so much, so I try not to get as many as I used to. But I'll eat the other mushrooms for my natural girl. If you do not use aloe in your hair, you are doing yourself a disservice. I will douse my hair with this and then put like a garlic treatment over it. Leave it for a few hours, rinse it out. My hair feels amazing. My natural hair. All right, so let's move some of this over here. Got some strawberries. Love strawberries. So what I'll do is I'll buy three big ones, three organic strawberries. And then two of them is are in the refrigerator, cut up, clean, so I can eat throughout the week. Uh, and the third one I use I clean same thing and then I freeze it for like a smoothie just easy grab and go because it's already cold and I meant to buy two of these so I can freeze these blueberries now the blueberries let me tell you I couldn't find the organic ones so I had to get these regular schmegular diggers uh, <laughs> But I'll tell you this, those frozen are so good. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys are eating like super healthy, is it hard for you? This is really a lifestyle guide because if you think about it, the standard American diet is terrible. You know, the dairy, the sugar, just everything. I just got some key limes. I didn't get a ton because I'm finding that I'm wasting the bag. Or like they're going, they're getting hard throughout the week. Um, good old cantaloupe. I never used to know how to pick cantaloupe, but can you see it on here? Usually there's like a spot. And that's basically saying that it's been sitting in the sun and it's supposed to be like sweeter. Some people smell it and stuff. I don't get that part, but I do look for that that mark that it's been sitting out in like a field in the sun or something like that. I got some pears so I could add to some of my juice or just eat them, you know, whole or whatever. These right here. I love these. Yum, yum, yum. They be looking beat up, but they so good. And what else? So yeah, so if you want to start eating healthy, I'll tell you this. It's not the easiest, especially if you are a person who's used to the standard American diet. But if you want to really change, you want to get maybe blood pressure down, you want to just feel good, you want to be able to get up and not feel like in pain, definitely one, listen to your body. Um, pay attention to the things that you eat and if how you feel after it. Pay attention to the foods that you're buying. Pay attention to ingredients. A lot of people don't look at that stuff, but I'll tell you, when you start to really pay attention to ingredients, you won't eat 
a lot of the stuff here. You will get a lot more things that are just an item, like fruits and vegetables and grains like quinoa, wild rice, um, things like that. Kamut, spelt. Um, those things are available for us in these stores. I just think that a lot of Americans just got used to this diet that they forced into our faces. I can talk all day about it, guys. Now, I'm not perfect by all means, because I told you guys I started to eat salmon again. I'm not gonna eat it, like, maybe twice a month. I'll probably do twice a month, and that's it. So here's some mushrooms. This is Hen of the Woods mushrooms. I don't know if you guys can see. Hen of the Woods. This is kind of like giving me Philly cheese steak. Like, <laughs> kind of like that. So I usually get like three of those. And here's my cheats. <laughs> these I can fry these up. My, so I can put these in the air fryer. You guys have an air fryer? My oven has one and I just get like some plantains. Plantains are yummy. Where are the avocados? I put them somewhere. So I wanna move them out the way. What do I do with them, y'all? Oh, right here. And I got some good old seeded grapes. If you know, you know. Finding seeded grapes is a hassle. But my farmer's market always has them. They'll have a ton of seedless and then they'll have like a little section of that. And let me tell y'all, hold on, let me grab this. I'm gonna move some of this stuff. <laughs> if I show you my counter, it looks crazy. Let's move some stuff. What I noticed one day with watermelon, seeded watermelon and, and seedless, was that these people had the price higher on seedless. So people are like, oh, well it's more money because they took out the seeds. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That ain't it, y'all. That ain't it. Don't eat any seedless uh, fruits and veggies. Don't do it. Okay. And this stuff usually comes up to all together because I go to three different places. This bag smells like plastic, strong plastic. This is from the other mart. That's crazy. It's like there's a, this is why you gotta clean your stuff. This smells crazy. What the hell is on here? It smells like, like a fume. But these are my burrow bananas. These kind of taste like plantains, if you will. Kind of tastes like plantains. <clears throat> Much more healthier than original banana. And then I got some mangoes from the other mart. Cause they didn't have any at my regular mart. These are by Tommy. I don't know if it's the farm, but Tommy is just okay. The ones by Kent are amazing. Like freaking amazing. All right. And then I got some baby bananas. If you got kids, get these. They're not like the conventional bananas. These are very, very, very tiny. Like even smaller than the burrow bananas, like super tiny. So I get them like this. I cover the ends with some aluminum foil. I clean them off first actually with vinegar. Um, aluminum foil you, and then they kind of last a little bit longer than just having them without it. Yeah, I make sure I'm zooming back in. And what else? And I think that is it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so all together, I'll tell you guys what I paid. All right, so farmer's market was 162, 163, and then 22 at the other farmer's market, 
and then five dollars at Publix. So that's this stuff. It doesn't look like a lot of stuff, but all of this stuff. Oh, I didn't say I got some salmon. So the salmon, like I said, I'm only gonna eat it like twice a month. Um, I don't. I get like a nice size. My friend said I'm eating a lot of salmon, <laughs> but I'm probably I'm just gonna do it twice a month, and that's it. Nothing more. Um, I just feel like I was missing something in my eating. Once I figure out my iron situation, I'm not even probably gonna eat that anymore, and I'm probably not gonna even eat. Um, take the the iron pills. But that is it, guys. That's all that I got today. That's everything that I usually get, with the exception of like the some tomato, not the tomatoes, the beets and the carrots. I'm adding in to make some juice. So. This is what it is like shopping as a plant-based person who eats like this all the time. I've been eating this way since I converted over to vegan. And then only recently is when I picked up the fish. But for many, many years, I was strictly using the Dr. Sabi list. Like that list is so strict. Uh, so when I started incorporating other stuff, I just felt like I had just more of a variety of things to eat as opposed to just the stuff on his list. I didn't take out anything from his list. I still eat every single thing off of that list, which is it's a mucusless diet. I don't like to call it a diet, mucusless lifestyle. Um, and just started adding stuff in. So this is what I eat, guys. So for those of you guys who ask about my skin and stuff, like a lot of people ask me on Instagram, I, I drink a lot of water. I buy spring water from a local spring water company. Now, a friend of mine told me that you can put, uh, did she say cumin? She said you can put something in your water and it'll clear out everything. I'm gonna ask her again. And then if I can find out, I'm gonna actually add it to the description of this video. But this is everything that I get. Maybe I'll put the list together for you guys, for, for you guys who want to start eating a certain way and just don't really know where to start. I do a lot of quinoa. Like I said, I do a lot of wild rice. Let me actually show you my wild rice. This right here. Can you guys see that? I don't even know if you guys can see that. I buy this rice. This rice is not the cheapest. It is a 10 pound rice, 10 pound bag rice. But the reason why I like to get this rice from this particular company is because I like the rice. It's not mixed with any other stuff. It is strictly wild rice. It's Canadian organic wild rice. And wild rice is a grass and not necessarily a actual rice. It looks like a rice though. So I get this. And then I use my quinoa some, some days and then sometimes I use this. But I am going to actually list all of this stuff for you guys just so you can have it. You can screenshot it, probably copy and paste it. If you, did my lights just flicker? Sure did. <gasps> my lights flickering. <laughs> Cable went off. You see what I'm saying? Something's going on. But I will list everything for you guys just so you can have it if you are looking to start eating better. If you want more videos like this, just let me know and I will definitely do more videos. I said this before, it's really hard for me to cook in this kitchen because it's so dark. But if I can figure out a way, trust me, I will be doing more and more cooking videos. Or maybe just add it to like a vlog and then I can kind of do it like that. But that's everything for this video, guys. It's just shopping as a plant-based eater <laughs> um, in 2024, guys. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog for my tall girls, all about fashion, CocoStylesNYC.com. And my personal style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I'm on tickety, tickety talk for the time being until they cut us off. Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.